What a mess. The world, my country, and the world is cruel. It's an evil, evil world out there. But in your world, it doesn't have to be. You can, I know some of you don't believe it, but in spite of all the things that are happening around you, through other people, and some people try to inflict it upon you as well, in spite of all the things that are happening right now in this world due to the evil of human heart, you can still be free. You can have perfect peace in the midst of all what's happening, really. And I know most people don't believe it because they have accepted their misery as a norm. They don't know that darkness has no power at all, zero power, that the truth, the light, is the way to go. But most people have decided on darkness. They have decided to take the dark road that leads to destruction. And I understand it. And, that's, uh, uh, and they don't want out. But you can really, really, really have perfect peace in the midst of everything that's going on. Your family members screwed up, whatever going on. Your job situation doesn't seem well. The government want war. They're trying to divide the races like never before. They're offering people drugs and alcohol and all kinds of stuff in order to control you. And that's due to the evil of a human heart. But in spite of all that, if you work on you as an individual, you're not responsible for anyone else. If you have children, you're responsible for your children, you know, to make sure they have a roof over their heads and that they, are, that they have uh, food on the table. You know, you're responsible for your children, but you are not responsible for anyone else. And if you know the truth, you find, you're on your way to it, you can see it, and you have the knowledge. Someone want to know, how are you so peaceful? You can give the people the knowledge of the truth, point the way, but you can't make them take the way. It's not your responsibility to make anyone take the way. But you can, if they ask, only if they ask, you can give them the knowledge of the way. But that's it. You're only responsible for you as an adult. No one else. Zero else. And the people who are out there trying to save the world, it's all a fake. It's a front. It's not real. They are trying to feel better. They are in misery. And they are trying to feel better, so they are out feeding the hunger. They are out trying to save the world, save the unborn child, or kill the child, unborn child fighting against uh, everything because they're miserable and they're trying to make them find it. It's like no other difference than drugs or anything else. I am blown away but yet understand that in the United States of America, a Judeo-Christian nation, think about that, smoke on that, we now have a government that give human beings drugs, marijuana, and make it easy for them to use drugs by giving them needles and things like that. And they're letting them out of prisons and jails. And they're coming out of prisons and jails, and they're robbing the citizens who are trying to have a life. And there's no police protection or anything. That is, and this is coming from the government. And if you disagree with it, they get mad at you. They don't want you to disagree. It's like going to church, right? And you have the preachers don't want you to disagree with them. So they keep you sitting in the, out there in the audience and they just read the Bible to you and give you their intellectual, quote unquote, understanding of the Bible. And they don't want you to know that they don't know what they're talking about. So they make sure you're quiet. They make you, amen. They make you shout, amen. Say, amen but they don't want you asking them questions. So you go there miserably in, in a, in a, with misery and you leave with the same misery. 
And sometimes you feel good from hearing the word, but that's just a temporary feeling. Our government is the same. All emotions, the good ones and the bad ones, are evil. And the world rides on your emotions. They use your emotion to gain power and wealth. Perceived power. It's not like real power. Perceived power. And you fall for it. The one thing that has been happening to the blacks for the last 70 years or so, especially when the so-called civil rights movement started, which was a big mistake and should not have happened, they have used the blacks for everything to promote everything that's wrong. No matter what the deal is, abortion, uh, women's movement, women's so-called women's rights, and they're going to get the phones out there for the word. Women's rights, um, whatever it is. They always, they want to, when they want to let everybody out of prison, when they want to promote drugs, when they want to legalize drugs and everything, they say, well, we should do it because the blacks went to jail. The blacks are more likely to go to jail for drugs and white people are not. They use the blacks for everything that's wrong. And the blacks don't mind because the blacks think just because they're using them, they're showing love. They're only showing hate. CNN is reporting that Maryland Democratic governor pardoned more than 175,000 marijuana convictions on Monday. Watch this from CNN. More than 175,000 marijuana convictions have been forgiven in the state of Maryland. Democratic Governor Westmore signed a mass pardon today for low-level charges impacting an estimated 100,000 people. It is the largest state-level pardon that we have seen in this kind in U.S. history. And this was a great day, not just for the individuals and the families. This was an important day for the soul of our state. And, you know, they've been going on. The last prisoner project has actually been going around the country and asking individuals who are still languishing, still dealing with the impact of, of cannabis convictions and asking them to write letters to lawmakers, telling their stories and asking lawmakers to act on it. Amazing, huh? This is good for the state. And yet the voters will turn right around again and vote for this guy. This guy is evil. He's for himself and no one else. And yet, the voters of Maryland would turn around and vote for him again. And they get what they deserve. Look at California, same thing. Gavin Newsom is the worst of the worst. And they vote him in day in and day out. Gavin Newsom would go right and make a video lying to the people. Big smile and lying to the people, and they still vote for him. Remember, Larry Elder ran against Gavin Newsom. A good chance, it was a good time to make a change for the good. And the people said, no, we don't want to change. We, we love this hell. So when they cry about the hell, when they are attacked out there with the, by the criminal, you, well, I feel sorry for them. They want this hell. This is what they want. Otherwise, they, they would, uh, the California government is predominantly Democrats. And everybody knows that the Democrats are never going to make it better. It, they don't want to make it better. They come up with ideas to make sure it doesn't get better. And yet, the people of California keep voting them in. And then they cry when the crime comes. And they don't seem to notice that they, that they, voted those people in. They don't change it at all. They don't say, you know what, let's give the Republicans a chance. Because the Democrats have proven that they're never going to make it better. They got that sorry, evil, no good mayor, female mayor of Los Angeles. I forgot her name right now, but what? Kara Bass. Karen Bass is a sorry, evil, no-good female. 
and they voted her in as mayor of Los Angeles. And all she talked about is, is taking care of the homeless. We got to take care of the homeless. We have built this project for the homeless. That's all she should care about. And she doesn't care about them. It just gives her a chance to hold a press conference to feel good about doing nothing. And the people vote for her. And they haven't had a chance to vote for a guy who would, I believe, would have done a better job than Karen Best for sure. People, human beings, due to the wickedness of their hearts, <laughs> love their misery. Why should you feel sorry for anyone that loves their misery? They love it. They don't want out. Even if they are crying about their loneliness, their fears, their misery, they only cry because the thrill of cr thinking about it and crying about it is just another good thrill. They don't really want out of it because if they want out of it, they can be out of it. They can be out of it. Karen Bass ran against a guy who uh, built the Grove, I believe. Yeah, the Rick Caruso. I think Rick would have been done better than Karen Bass for sure. But the people said, no, we don't want better. We don't want better. And they went for Karen because they knew she was not going to make it better. They knew that she was not going to make it better. And they don't, the people don't, people lie to you when they cry and say they want out. People lie to you when they're mad and say they're mad about this. I'm mad about that. It's just thrill of saying it, folks. Stop falling for the thrills. And here's an example I mentioned to you, the Democratic governor of Maryland, right? Here's an example how they use blacks, the blacks, anytime they want to do, create something nasty or dirty or evil or wrong. They use the blacks because they know that the black. I showed you uh, yesterday in Tampa, Florida, they were giving the, I got to adjust my this stupid thing. From, sorry. It was weird, my little patch. I showed you in Florida, Tampa, Florida, I believe, they were giving the, the, uh, the gay people a gay badge for the police. Gay badge, right? And they said it's for gay people, black people, transgender people, whatever, right? They always throw the black in so that they can get, push these evil agendas because the blacks are not going to fight against it. The blacks will only fight against it if it was something good, if it was for the good. This stupid thing bothered me. Okay, that's it. What the? The, the black would fight against it if it was for good. If it was helping them to get jobs and start businesses, and they wouldn't want that. So they know that the blacks are not going to say no to it. So that this governor and these people pushing these drugs and stuff, doing the same thing, they're using the blacks. Watch this from CBS. As President Biden said during his campaign, no one should be in jail for using or possessing marijuana. The reality is, while white, black, and brown people use marijuana at similar rates, black and brown people have been arrested, prosecuted, and convicted at disproportionately higher rates. The president's actions today further his commitment to reverse longstanding injustices and to right historic wrongs. Amazing. So the blacks hear that? They're not going to do anything. And now they can get all type of crooked laws passed. All type of crooked laws passed. But this is the way of the world. This is good versus evil. We have evil. And blacks are being used for evil. They are being used for evil. Isn't that amazing? The blacks are being used for evil. And they have been used for 70 years or so. Started with the so-called civil rights movement. Started with the so-called civil rights movement. The worst thing that ever happened to the blacks except for abortion. The worst thing. And some black Americans are waking up to that, though. They're starting to... 
because of social media, and uh, they are able to see more than just what the liberal media on TV want to show them. They're starting to see what's other things, what's really going on, and it's having an impact, slowly but surely. But for a long time, they didn't. They were only getting the news from the liberal media, and they that's all they had to know, for, believe from. But still, in spite of all that, you, as an adult, and only you, are responsible for you. Yes, you've been deceived, but it's not the deceiver fault that you allow them to deceive you. If you were to pay attention, ask questions, and work on yourself, it would not and could not happen. It could not happen. It's up to you. Maine, according to the revolver, I had never heard of this until today, or, or maybe yesterday. According to the revolver, Maine is giving out boofing kits. Some of you might not have even heard of that. They keep coming up with new terms, right? Watch this uh, from the revolver. So what poofing is, is inserting drugs into your rectum. Uh, and one of the main reasons people do it is because there's a lot of blood vessels in your rectum, uh, a lot of surface area. Um, I always recommend people try boofing um, because switching to snorting can be a little too big of a jump. I love that because I think also that helps with our minds. So if you're having a really hard time, you know, hitting and it's really starting to get in, you're getting in your head about it and you're starting to get frustrated, just knowing that you do have an option um, of boofing or booty bumping is, is, I don't know, I think maybe a little bit, brings a little bit more ease, right? You're like, okay, I'm getting really fucking frustrated. This is really like, I'm not, it's not working. Okay. I have this other option too. And then if you want to inject later because you really enjoy the rush from injecting, like that's fine. <laughs> Every time you listen to the woman, you will suffer. Isn't that, they're having a conversation like it's a normal, right on, uh, intelligent conversation. Isn't that amazing? And these are supposed to be experts. When will you take, and I'm sorry, kids, I didn't mean for you to see all that. When will you take responsibility for your own life? If not now, when? You're responsible, even if you're married, the husband is responsible for himself, the wife is responsible for herself. Wives, the husband can, is not and cannot make you overcome anything. It's not his job to even try. Because he can't change himself, how can he change you? It's his job to be a living example so that you, if you're, have not found your way back to the truth, you can find your way, hopefully, if you want it. But he's not responsible. There's nothing that a man, people, places, or thing can do for anyone to find your way back to the Father. So don't rely on the man. Don't, be, don't believe that the man, the men are lost. There's no way God would Leave you ladies, and I'm saying this because the ladies are asking me about this. There's no way God will leave you subject to the men, knowing that the men are lost. That doesn't even make sense, right? So ladies, the same thing the men have to do to overcome the fallen state, overcome anger, loneliness, depression, looking for love, suicidal thought, fear, anxiety, all this stuff they have named, the only, everything the man has to do to overcome, you do too. Even if the man were overcoming it and you were married to that man, you still won't overcome if you don't work on you. Only God can bring those back who want it. No human being can do it. No Jesse, no, no Donald Trump, the great white hope. Only the truth. And only the truth is going to help you when you reach out to it. I'm pointing you back to that source, but I can't make you take the source. And a lot of people are unhappy right now. A lot of people are unhappy. Most people are unhappy today. In the worst way, too. And unnecessarily. 
If they didn't love their misery, they would not be unhappy. You can drop your anger just like that and be free. You can drop your fears just like that, but you don't want to. You love it and pretend that you don't. You really do love it. You're lying when you cry. You're not crying because you want to overcome. You're crying because it feels good. It's a thrill. And you want someone else to feel bad for you so you can feel good that they're feeling bad for you. It's all a thrill. You don't want to overcome. Evil has been defeated. Darkness cannot have, it has no power. Loneliness has no power. Depression, suicidal thought has no power. Zero. Fear has no power. It's been defeated. It's been done. It's been finished. But yet, you, you, believe, you give in to it. And you give it a false sense of power, and it made you destroy you. It made you commit suicide. Isn't that crazy? Evil can tell you your life ain't worth, worth a dime. You're not worth anything. Go kill yourself. You might well take your own life. And you say, okay. You look around, you're like, yeah, you're right. I don't have any friends. I don't have any this. I don't have any that. I'm not married. I have no children. I whatever, right? And, and, and it's, uh, you know, you might well tell you, kill yourself. And you say, okay. And you do it. And it even tell you, leave a suicide note and make other people feel bad for you. You're like, oh, okay. Even in death, you promote thrills. A spiritual battle, a warfare between good and evil, right versus wrong. You might not realize, well, you don't realize, most people don't. You are possessed. All human beings are possessed. You are controlled by evil. You're controlled by evil. You're not in control. Something else is working through you, and it's making you miserable. The good news is you can overcome it. But you got to forgive and return to the Father. 